All right, thanks, Tony. Now we have new details on a news alert we've been following for several days now. Tonight, the water ban in Somerset has been lifted. Residents there were told earlier this evening it is now safe to drink the town's water following days of using bottled water. It was also triggered off after a company illegally connected to a fire hydrant contaminating the water. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DiPrato is live now in Somerset with more on tonight's developments. Well, Mike, police say a construction company doing bridge work here in Somerset actually ordered a hydro seeding company to steal the water. Here at Somerset Police, they're trying to figure out who is to blame. But the headline tonight here in this area is that the H2O is A-OK. -okay. After two days of takeout and eating out, things are getting back to normal for Liz Jewell and her family. Having, you know, animals and a child, um, that, you know, we, water's really important. It makes this a very big eye-opener. They and others in Somerset can now drink and cook with tap water again, now that a one million gallon flush of the system has been completed, and tests show the water is safe. The materials that we were looking at came back all either uh, very low or non-detectable. Uh, all the contaminant issues were in a non-detectable range. The water ban began Tuesday evening. Somerset Police say Cianbro Middlesex Construction ordered a company it hired, Hydro Seed Technologies, to hook up to a fire hydrant. That's when Hydro Seed and chemicals were sucked out of a truck and into the water supply. We fully expect that charges will be pressed against the individuals and the companies responsible for this. The charges will likely include stealing water. Whoever is responsible will have to pay for the 4,600 cases of water given out to residents and at least $20,000 for the flush of the system. We're going to be sending these folks a bill because I'll tell you what, it was a really expensive venture. It's unclear if businesses like Marafa's that had to shut down will be paid. They lost at least $8,000 over the last few days and will open again on Friday. Police say they are working with the district attorney's office to determine who should be charged. The good news in all of this, if there is any, is that no one got sick. We're live in Somerset tonight with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.